Good morning, everyone. I'm Jess Willey, and together with my colleague, Christina DeArmond, we're going to share the marketing activities that the OWB is undertaking on behalf of the industry. All right, so I am excited, I'm really excited now to share with you a new project that the Oregon Wine Board is undertaking. As we heard confirmed in the last Wine Opinions research study, as, um, as Christian Miller uh, denoted yesterday, expanding availability of Oregon wine in markets around the country is a major opportunity for our industry. Fostering an understanding of and appreciation for Oregon wine among influential members of the trade, therefore, is a really critical mission as we look to build the awareness and esteem of Oregon wine in the eyes of these important gatekeepers and tastemakers. So as we work on it, so we're working on a new resource to help our industry tackle that challenge. But before I show you what's coming, I want to, sh I want to provide a little bit more context. So as you no doubt know, our, our industry has been growing leaps and bounds over the last 15 years. But in the grand scheme of things, we're a very small industry of boutique-sized producers. We have strongly held beliefs and tenets that guide our winemaking and grape growing practices. And this really shines through in the quality of the wine that comes out of Oregon today. It's better than ever and our third party recognition helps us to build that case and share our story with the world. And so what all of this means is that more and more people are interested in learning about Oregon wine and there are more and more of us out there looking to tell our story. So the question becomes, how do we share this in a unique way that feels true to our brand, that's open and collaborative, that gets kind of geeky but remains approachable, that gives you your, and your brands the context that you need that augments your stories, and that serves the needs of a diverse set of audiences. And these audiences really are varied. There are, of course, you, you the wineries out there that want to pitch your brand to a distributor uh, that may not have a very deep Oregon portfolio. There are distributors who want to train their sales reps to be able to go out and sell the category of Oregon wine. There are SOMs that want to conduct um, staff trainings to be able to and, uh, equip their staff to better serve on the floor. And there are, of course, wineries who have new to our industry tasting room staff that want to be, sure, to be sure that the story is being shared in the best way possible. So to better understand the needs of those audiences, we conducted several dozen stakeholder interviews, not only among you, but also among members of the local and the national trade. And what we found was that we heard from the trade that they want a resource that's packed with information, yet quick to study. We heard from you that you want to be able to customize materials and incorporate your own story into the Oregon story. We heard that people want to be able to access this information across a variety of platforms, whether on, their, on the go with their laptops or iPads um, or even on their phones. And in addition, it was important to us that we keep this resource cost effective and easy to maintain. So you might remember a few years ago, uh, the Oregon Wine Experience iPad app was launched, and we, had, we did receive um, grant funding from the ODA and the USDA to update um, that app. But as we assessed our needs and really listened to our audiences and also evaluated our, um, the options available to us in an ever-changing technological landscape, the more we realized that the app platform does not enable us to check all of these boxes and fulfill the needs of you as well as the constituents that we serve. So therefore, we've decided instead to use this funding to create a new mobile-friendly website that will house all of the information needed to share the Oregon wine story with the world. The resource will be compatible across all platforms. It will be cost-effective to maintain and easy to keep up to date. Most, impo most importantly, it's going to be comprehensive and allow wineries to customize the presentations and insert their own stories into the broader Oregon story. And to, show a taste, to share a taste of what will be coming this summer is Christina DeArmond. Thank you. Hello, I'm Christina DeArmond, Marketing Coordinator for the Oregon Wine Board. Over the past several months, Jess and I have been collaborating with creative partners and subject matter experts to produce a brand new website that will serve as a platform for the most comprehensive and current Oregon wine education materials to date. 
This website will present topics in Oregon Mine that will provide, that will provide the user with easily accessible facts, stats, and maps, as well as tell stories that will bring to life the history, culture, accomplishments, and of course, the people of our industry. To provide you with a brief overview of the breadth and scope of this project, I'd like to take you through a general navigation of the website and discuss its resources and customizable features that will be available once it's launched. An introduction to Oregon Wine will provide industry statistics, accolades, and an industry timeline that dates back to the late 1800s and extends to include the most recent milestones of our industry. We've collaborated with Greg Jones to create a comprehensive exploration of the factors impacting Oregon's climate, and we'll continue to work with Scott Burns to tell the story of each wine growing region's geological history. Various topics, including varieties, labeling laws, environmental stewardship, and vintage reports will bring Oregon's culture of sustainability and quality to life. We'll also be working closely with AVA associations across the state to create educational resources that tell the stories of our distinct AVAs and the factors that make them unique. Diving deeper into the website, I'd like to give you a tour of the environmental stewardship subpage. Each page will provide in-depth explanations allowing the user to read up about the topic directly on the web page. Users will also have the opportunity to download a presentation on each subject. When the user clicks the button to download a presentation, they'll be prompted to fill out a brief contact information form. This form will allow ODBB to track where in the world these presentations are by download by our where in the world these presentations are being downloaded and will provide us with insight into how they might be used. It'll also result in a rich database of individuals interested in learning more about Oregon wine. For those of you using Trade Locker to manage your digital assets, these forms will look very familiar. So once the form is submitted, users are able to download and view the presentation. To illustrate what these presentations will look like, the next couple slides are an example of the environmental stewardship presentation. We're packing these presentations with easily digestible facts and stats, and adding color through the use of quotes and imagery to bring the subjects to life. We've also commissioned maps, which were designed to not only show borders and major geographic landmarks, but also to provide rich context of where in the world our AVAs are. To make these useful in markets across the world, we've included metric conversions of numbers like miles to kilometers. So looking at the maps here, to start, we will drill down from a map of the world to the west coast to the state of Oregon, showing each major wine growing region, into the wine region, and then to discuss the AVAs within that region. Ultimately, drilling down to the individual AVA like we've done here with the Rogue Valley. From here, wineries can provide details on their individual vineyard information, which we'll discuss later today. The Context is King session with Doug Frost at 11 a.m. will showcase additional resources we've created for this website, and Jess and I will be discussing how these materials can be customized to tell the story of your brand. So in addition to the Context is King session with Doug Frost at 11 a.m., um, there are other ways that you guys can get involved as we finish up this project. Um, as I mentioned before, we'll be collaborating with AVA associations to build out regional content of this project. So if you'd like to be involved in that, um, make sure that you watch your email as we'll be in touch in the next couple months. Um, also in August, ODBB will be taking a workshop on the road across the state to teach you how to use this resource and how to customize it for your brand. So Carrie will be discussing this a little bit later and showing you the dates. We'd also like to thank our creative partners and subject matter matter experts that have been working with us on this project, we wouldn't be able to have done to do it without them.